Hi guys. So tonight we're cooking chicken with with artichokes and rice. It's supposed to be mushrooms, but we don't have any mushrooms. Sorry, they went bad in, in the fridge. <laughs> so our plan was totally derailed. That's okay though, because here we are. We're making chicken today. So the chicken, the first thing we did was sear the chicken for five minutes on both sides with some olive oil, which we're using our little ninja foodie today. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's the ninja foodie. Yes, we love this thing. This thing has been like the best thing ever we ever purchased. By the way, that was my Christmas gift for Christmas. So anyways, here's our ninja foodie. Hi, I hope you're having a great day. I'm waving. Here, I'll wave. Wave. Anyway, okay, so we have rice in the bottom because we're making rice, so my daughter went ahead and put the rice in the bottom already. So now we're going to put the chicken in, right? Okay, you no, want to put the chicken in now? Okay, Read she's helping steps. me out here. Huh? Read the steps. Read the steps. She's telling me to read directions. Can you believe my daughter's telling me to read directions? Boy, you think we'd like the chicken here. sock, then the artichoke cards, the okay. spices, and then you put the chicken on. Okay. Okay, so chicken stock first, so we have to add chicken stock. So here's our chicken stock. We're going to add it. It's going to help make the rice. There's the chicken stock. Okay. And now it says we're supposed to add the artichoke hearts. We have artichoke hearts. Yummy, yummy. Splash. Oh, great. I mean, splash. Sorry, kiddo. Okay. So I'm going to the artichoke hearts. She's stirring for me. My wonderful assistant. Okay, now we need to put in a bay leaf. Bay leaf. I threw in the bay leaf. Okay. And it says we're supposed to put in the thyme. Here's our thyme. Hi, Ashley. Okay, there's the thyme. Okay. Now that we put the thyme in, we're going to put in some extra pepper. So I have some extra pepper. I'm not being picky here. All right, there's some extra pepper. I put in a, a dash of pepper, so there you go. That's what I was going to get. She is putting the chicken back in. Did we put the wine in yet? Did it say to put the wine in yet? No, oh, I'm putting the wine in. We're putting in the wine, too. Wait, look. I know, but I want to put the wine in now because if I don't, it's not going to cook right. So here. Okay, we're putting in some white wine. Dry white wine is what it said. So we're putting in the wine. Dry white wine. Might as well just sauce it up a little bit. Add a little, little bit more dry white wine. Might as well use the rest of it. Now she's putting in the chicken. I don't know if you can see her put the chicken in. Hi, Judy. Hope you're having a great day, Judy. Okay, put the chicken back in. This is our new little ninja foodie. We've been playing with it. Every time I turn around, the kids are playing with my toys. This is my new toy they're playing with. So we're you cooking chicken like... I... So here we go. Um, feel free to like and share this video if anybody you think might actually like to use recipes like this. And if they if they want the recipe, they can reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to share it. I don't mind at all. But I'm just trying to cook easy meals for families who, you know, I mean, any of us, we're all on a budget. So anything, this is frozen chicken, so we yeah, thawed it out a little earlier. Lid. Huh? Where'd you put the pressure lid? The pressure lid is underneath down here. Hold on, I need the pressure lid. Pressure lid. Okay, now what do I do? I stick it on. Is there a magic touch to putting it on? Oh my gosh, I actually did it right the second time. I'm so proud of myself. Hi Vanessa. Hi Angie. It's okay. Hi Angie Miles. Okay, now what do I do? Okay, so now we're going to put it on. Pressure. High pressure. For five minutes. High for five minutes. So now it'll do its thing, huh? Oh, and she's making sure it's sealed on top. So here's my little ninja in case. I don't know if too many people have seen these before. But this is... Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to flip it around. Here we go. Okay, so that's a new little ninja foodie. That's really cool. It's a really nice toy. Um, I saved up some money so I could get it for Christmas. That was one of the things I wanted for Christmas. So that was one of my favorite things. I like kitchen gadgets. And I love... <laughs> Usually, if you don't find me in your kitchen, I'm at my computer, so I'm at one of the two places, and those are the places where I like to have my clearing spaces in places where I can actually do things I want to do. So this is one of my toys, and the kids have already been using it, so I'm still learning how to use it. I think they know how to use it better than I do. We do have a little cookbook, great cookbook, by the way, in case nobody's ever seen those. I got it on Amazon. Didn't cost a lot of money to buy it. I bought it with that, so that way we could have a little bit of variety with everything. We did, however, take this recipe and kind of do our own thing with embellish. it. So, yeah, embellish. We like to twist things up a little bit, and we don't like to use it. And since we didn't have mushrooms, we used rice instead. So, like I said, we like to twist things around a little bit and do things our own way. 
So if you want the recipe or you want us to know how we did it, we'll be more than happy to share it with you. I'm not a problem with that at all. I hope, hope uh, everybody has a great day. According to the recipe, we're supposed to let it cook in here for the five minutes on the pressure. And then we're supposed to take the chicken out and you're supposed to put it on a different rack to kind of let it, let it sit on the rack and then use the mushrooms. But since we're not putting in mushrooms, we're just cooking it this way. We'll see if the chicken's ready. And if it is, I will share a picture with everybody to show y'all what it looks like. So please feel free to share and like my video. I like it when people like my videos. That means you guys are watching me. And I like to share because um, I wish people would have shared with me when I had younger kids. I wish Facebook was around and videos were around so that way we could see different things like we do now. And it's really helpful, especially when you have a huge family. So. Let me know if you like this video, and like I said, feel free to share and like, and if you want the recipe, let me know, and I'll take a picture in a little while as soon as it's ready, and I'll let you guys know, and there's my dancing daughter, the dancing queen. <laughs> I only have one daughter, so she's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Okay, happy Wednesday. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.